Let's talk about entering customer payments in the receipts window. Let's say that the mail arrived and you open the mail and there's some checks in there from customers. And these are payments on invoices that you've sent out. Come here to the tasks pull down menu and come to the receipts line. The first field here is deposit ticket ID. This field identifies the bank deposit with which this receipt is bundled. Deposits are created and printed in the select for deposit window. Let's say we're going to make the deposit today, March 15th of 2003. Let's put in 03 15 03. Now, I caution you to make sure that you type these characters correctly the same on each deposit that you're recording for today. This way, Peachtree lumps them together as one deposit. Peachtree will lump them based on this deposit ticket ID field. If you vary your characters at all, Peachtree will divide up the deposit. Keeping the deposit the same as what's going to be reflected on the bank statement makes the month-end bank reconciliation much easier. Next, pull in the customer for who you received one of the checks. We got a check from Chapman Murphy Law Offices. Next, the cursor brings us to the reference cell. This is their check number. Receipt number, we can leave this blank if we're going to print a receipt. In this case, we're not going to print a receipt. Their canceled check is receipt enough. Here is the date we received it. Sometimes this date and this de deposit ticket ID will be the same. However, if we're not going to make it to the bank before 3 o'clock, then this will be tomorrow's date. Next, we can select over here the payment method and which cash account it's going into. Down here, we do not have the automatic feature turned on for recalculating cash balances. Instead, we can simply click on the dollar sign and see that right now we have 13000 in the bank. Now let's come down and let's record the receipt. Chapman Murphy sent us a check for $199.96 on invoice number 10313. Notice when my cursor is on this line, it turns into a magnifying glass. I can drill down and see the original invoice. Next, let's come over here. We offered them a discount if they paid within 10 days. They did not meet this 10 days. Therefore, they did not earn the discount. So we're going to delete this. Check this box. And you can see the same amount appears up here. This field is shaded. We don't have access to this field. This field is a sum of the items that we pay below. Now we can simply save this transaction. And we've recorded that receipt from Chapman Murphy Law Offices.